Hi, Mike Beers here, 1984 World Champion. I'm gonna go through some stuff that I do. I've kind of got pet peeves about what I do. One thing I do, I'm gonna unsaddle this horse. I'm gonna tie him up. And this is what I see a lot of people doing where they get themselves in trouble. And most of the stuff I talk about is stuff that I've done in myself and got myself in trouble. So I'm using a double diamond halter. Pretty much I use double diamond halter on everything I, I ride around here. It's the long lead ropes. Uh, I'm gonna take this horse and tie him to the when I tie one up, I want to tie one to a post. I don't want to tie one to the rail. I tie one to the post. This, this horse is by 16, 17 years old, but I recommend if you're going to unsaddle your horse, have them tied solid. I always take, I don't tie my horse up, take it around here like this. Don't ever put your fingers all the way through it because if your horse pulls back, there goes your fingers. Barely put your fingers through so you can get a hold of it. Pull it back through here, pull it down here right there then he's tied solid okay so when i today we guess we just got done roping we uh, break weight all afternoon uh we had six or seven head of horse we roped on every one of my horses when they leave the barn they have a bridle on one side and a rope on the other side for example the rope that i used today to break weight with was the striker 10-0 striker and i use the eight away breakaway is what i use uh, I like them because I get the same feel of my rope as I would if it was in the, the Hondo itself, okay? So that's what I use right there. So and when I get done, I'll take, I'll take my rope off. And then when I unsaddle a horse, I always start with the breast collar first. We should do my breast collar first. Lay it over top of the saddle, okay? Second thing I do is the back cinch. I do the back cinch. Last thing I do will be the front cinch. Throw this stirrup over. I do the front cinch. So, and then when I done do my front cinch, I take it like this, take it, split it, run it back through here like this. So that way, when I saddle up in the morning the next day, when I throw my saddle on, all I have to do, reach down here, grab my cinch, take the end of my latigo, pull it through. And that's how I saddle him up. Okay. And I never saddle one tight when I first saddle him. Like I'll saddle this horse just loose, just snug. Always do the back sink second. Then I'll do the breast collar last. And the reason I do that is years ago, I tell a story on myself. Years ago, I had a brand new saddle, had the horse not tied up solid, threw the saddle on, put the breast collar on, car went by and backfired my horse took off down the road my saddle was underneath his belly it come back in parts so that's why i always undo the breast collar first when i unsaddle one and the last thing i put on is the breast collar just like that there we go Okay, today, and I'm wearing a tough enough resist all straw hats from NRS. My boots are full quilt ostrich square toed boots. You can buy them at NRS too. And you can go on my blog, on the link on my blog, and you'll get 5% off on NRS. Thanks for watching.